now it's time for Ask Dr. Love with Dr. Jamie Turndorf, the number one relationship advice radio show in the U.S. Brought to you by MembraceInLife.com, the number one vaginal moisture supplement. Body and welcome to Ask Dr. Love. I'm Dr. Jamie Turndorf, and I'm so happy to be with you again this week. We're live streaming on the Ask Dr. Love channel on YouTube. And next week, this show is going to go out through all my terrestrial radio stations in Chicago, Atlanta, Boston, San Francisco, Seattle, and LA San Bernardino. And just go to AskDrLove.com under the radio tab, and you'll get your lo local stations and times. And of course, the show goes out on all the major podcasting apps, Spotify, uh, iHeart, everywhere. So in honor of National Prayer Day, we're going to be talking today about what prayer is and how to use prayer to hold the vision for a world that works the highest and best for everyone. My guest today is the wonderful Reverend Michael Bernard Beckwith. He's the founder and the CEO of Agape International Spiritual Center, a trans-denominational community in LA comprised of thousands of local members and global live streamers. Dr. Beckwith is widely recognized for his teachings on the science of inner transformation and unity in which he embraces a practical approach to spirituality utilizing meditation, affirmative prayer and life visioning, a spiritual technology he developed for conscious evolution, authentic living and living your purpose. Dr. Beckwith is a sought after meditation teacher, conference speaker, and seminar leader on the life visioning process. He's addressed audiences at the UN General Assembly, TEDx Maui, Oprah Winfrey's Network's own Super Soul Sessions and Super Soul Sunday and Help Desk, The Oprah Show, The Ellen DeGeneres Show, Dr. Oz, CNN, Larry King Live, Tavis Smiley, and his own PBS special, The Answer Is You. He's a member of Oprah's esteemed inaugural Super, Super Soul 100. And as co-founder and president of the Association for Global New Thought, he hosts conferences featuring, featuring harbingers of world peace, including his holiness, the Dalai Lama. And he has dis the distinguished honor of presenting the, the Gandhi King Award to Nelson Mandela. Three books, Life Visioning, Spiritual Liberation, and Transcend Dance, Expanded, have received the prestigious Nautilus Award. He has an app, Beck with Inspires, that features essential spiritual tools, technologies, and practices to help shift perceptions and transform lives. You can find more about him at Agape Live and michaelbeckwith.com. So without further ado, welcome. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Jamie. It's good to be with you again. <laughs> we haven't seen each other in a while physically, but it's so yeah, good yeah. to be in your vibration. It, that, that bio is a test of my lung capacity. <laughs> I'm surprised you read that whole bio. <laughs> <laughs> well, I did. I have to admit, I had to cut paragraphs out of it. Thank you. Or we would have lost our first segment because you are so, so well respected and well, well honored and so on. So we're talking about how to pray, right? Did you want to start with that? And also, I want to just ask you, I have someone I see in the live audience who uh, doesn't believe in God or Yahweh or any of the higher powers. So I'm wondering also what we can say to people who don't believe, you know, is there a way for them to pray that's um, secular? And so I just wanted to throw that out there. Okay, sure, let's cover, let's cover on all of that. Uh, people pray basically under the context of how they see God. So in the, in the Old Testament, God was manlike. You know, God got angry, God had chosen people. Uh, God, you know, was, God had human qualities. When you come to the, uh, the New Thought Ageless Wisdom teachings, you know, God is spirit. God, we, are the, we are the light, the light that lights up every man, every woman that comes into the world. So humanity is becoming more godlike. So you can see the evolution of our consciousness from God being a man to humanity being more divine. So therefore, we begin to change how we pray. We're not begging to a man in the sky. We're seeking to have a sense of connection with life. You can exchange the, for people who don't believe in God, because a lot of them don't believe in this man God either. We can exchange the word God for love, 
beauty, intelligence. We can exchange the word God for life itself because life is eternal. It's timeless. doesn't compromise itself. doesn't change up on itself. So prayer then becomes a way by which we make, have communion with life. We have communion with the presence. So instead of begging, we're communing. And we are working on ourselves to have a realization that that which we're praying for, it's already within us. We're seeking to discover it, activate it, and set it free. So the, the presence that is never an absence gave us everything that it is. We lack nothing as spiritual beings, but we're uncovering, discovering it, and activating it. So this changes up everything about prayer when we understand the nature of reality, the nature of life, and the nature of God. Now, again, when I say the word God, many people have all these images of God. But as society matures, it goes from um, a human. You know, there's an old saying, God made us in his image and likeness, and we've been trying to return the favor ever since. <laughs> we've been trying to make God in our image rather than the other way around. And so uh, that's why we call it affirmative prayer. We're actually affirming that which is true about us, that which is timeless, that which is real, until it becomes to the neurons of our brain change, the neuroplasticity changes, and we begin to, to feel connected to life. And then the confidence and the love and the healing powers are set free, you see. You know, I love the way you express that. And, you know, when they say God is love. Yeah. So if we're talking about opening up to what you call the divinity in ourselves, it means opening our hearts to love, to right. love ourselves, to love others. And that connection is a prayerful, holy, divine experience, connection to ourselves, connection to each other. Absolutely. God is defined as love. And love is, is not emotional, it's not sentimental. It's the total givingness of the spirit without any sense of withhold. There's a, the, the life never withholds anything from us. God never withholds anything from us because God life is the same yesterday, today and forever. It's always being itself, that's total love. So when we are available to that kind of love, which is called unconditional love, you know, which is very difficult to to live at that level as a human being, but we're seeking to do that. We're seeking to perfect our loving so that it becomes unconditional, all conditional, beyond conditions, beyond the gender. And when we learn to fall in love with life and we learn to fall in love with ourself, and a good test for that is, do you like yourself? And, and I know you know this because you teach all about relationships. If do you like and love yourself when you're by yourself? If you don't, then you're going to have trouble being in a relationship because you're going to demand that the relationship makes you happy. But if you can be by yourself and like yourself and love what God has created, then you're not putting a burden on your relationships. You enter into relationships from the overflow rather than from scarcity or lack. This is all about self-love. It's about the love of God embracing it within yourself until you actually feel that you are loved, you're cradled by a presence, and then you can, you can go forth and live and express and radiate that love. It's beautiful. You know, so many people I've worked with over the, I was gonna say decades or centuries, I don't know which because there's no- Probably both. <laughs> right? So, so many people find it hard to love themselves because they were raised in such abusive families they, they hate themselves because they felt hated and abused by their parents. And then they find it hard to seek God or source because the damage in the relationship with the parent then gets generalized to God. And I don't trust God. God is going to screw me over. God, you know, it, and so the injury that you're suffering from your deformative years affects your spiritual capacities, your capacities to love others and to love God, you know? Yeah, absolutely. That, that, whatever that trauma was, we project that onto God. So whatever, if our parents were not as conscious and it was an atmosphere of tumult and abuse, always on the edge. And, and, and the parent is representing God. 
we have a tendency to see God in that image. So this is why we have to do a lot of deep inner spiritual work to mend those wounds through the power of forgiveness. Exactly. You know, until we can begin to see that the presence, that, that our parents were only revealing what they could based on their limited perception. Exactly. You know? But they exactly. weren't revealing the whole nature of God's love. Exactly. You get it totally. And the idea is, I always say to people, I know this is a very controversial idea, don't forgive understand because a lot of times people try to ram this oh i forgive but meanwhile they're you know like a, a psycho axe murderer in their heart so instead of forcing forgiveness work to understand exactly what you said my parents were limited they were damaged they had been abused themselves and when you come to that acceptance forgiveness follows absolutely with all that getting get understanding exactly yeah, when you, when you can if you could actually step back and see a person's path then you can exactly. actually see what happened to them, how they were programmed. And you can see that what they did often was not even personal. They didn't exactly. have a choice. They were just reacting to what was the damage that was within them. Exactly. I, I hate to have to take a break. We'll be back in a moment. Hi, it's Dr. Jamie Turndorf here. Are you feeling stressed out or suffering panic attacks, aches and pains or stiff muscles, low energy, angry outbursts or disturbed sleep? Or are you worried or depressed or feeling hopeless, like the world is coming to an end? Or are you not eating right or exercising or falling into self-damaging or addictive behaviors like binging on junk food, TV or the internet? Or abusing drugs or alcohol, figuring what's the point? Or maybe work is getting on your last nerve or your relationships are falling apart? If you said yes to any of my questions, you are likely suffering what I call the new global PTSD pandemic stress syndrome triggered by the coronavirus pandemic. Don't despair. My energetic system upgrade is your rescue remedy for the panic epidemic that is plaguing our world. The energetic system upgrade has already changed the lives of some of today's top leaders. Now you can experience your own energetic system upgrade healing transformation. I'm offering a limited number of discounted sessions for my radio listeners. Visit AskDrLove.com forward slash energetic system upgrade. Don't wait. Visit AskDrLove.com forward slash energetic system upgrade. Attention, ladies. Dryness is canceled. Are you tired of dealing with painful sex due to vaginal dryness? Are you ready to get back on your bike or hit the tennis court with your girlfriends without having to worry about the discomfort caused by dryness? Whether it's menopause-related, medication-related, or something you've just dealt with for so long that you've accepted it as a fact of life, Membracin Life Sciences may be your long-awaited answer. A nutritional supplement taken daily that is completely estrogen-free and clinically studied, Membracin Vitality Pearls have helped over 500,000 women worldwide take their lives back. Just check out the 3,000-plus customer reviews on Amazon. Visit MembracinLife.com to learn more and use code LOVE for 15% off your first month. Give it 90 days and say goodbye to vaginal dryness. Welcome back to Ask Dr. Love. I'm Dr. Jamie Turndorf talking with my dear friend, Reverend Dr. Michael Bernard Beckwith. So we were saying, you know, they do that in Germany. If you've got many titles, right, it's Reverend Dr. It takes a half hour to introduce someone. <laughs> <laughs> and we're, just, we're just scratching the surface. You know, I've been knighted. I have a sir. I have a chief out of Africa. Exactly, so exactly, I, exactly. I just say, they just call me the Rebbe Rev. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. So we were saying before we took the break how one of the greatest ways to heal, to prepare yourself, to enable yourself to connect to others is to see the limitations of the parents who raised you or the people who injured you. Look at their path. Look at their walk. And I remember doing this dialogue with uh, a loved one's parent in spirit and she hated her mother hated her and when we did the dialogue i asked her to play her mother's part yeah you know and it was so cool right because now all of a sudden she came out of it and she said i never saw what my mother was struggling with what she was dealing with and everything shifted right yeah. you have to walk a mile in the other person's moccasins sometimes yes. and that's a part of forgiveness when i do the forgiveness work i do the same thing i have them uh, uh, look at the individual and seek to see it from their perspective 
And then yes. you, you, you sit with sensitivity, you could actually see their pain. And exactly. it was the pain that was acting. And then you grow into compassion. And I describe compassion as a very high form of love. It is the understanding of the lack of understanding. So you actually, you actually understand someone's lack of understanding with how they acted in that particular way. And then as we were talking earlier, your concept of God begins to change. God is not this guy in the sky with a beard, you know, giving these edicts. You know, the presence is love, it's intelligence. The presence is life, beauty. And, 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 and you start to have a different relationship with the presence. Now, when you go in, since we're at National Prayer Day, now when you go into prayer, you're seeking to commune with the presence and then you work to have a realization that what you're praying for, you already have. It's already within you. And you're seeking to discover and activate. It's, it's an affirmative prayer, you see. I love it. It's, I love it. It's such an image of bounty. Everything is within you. You are a well of love and gifts and everything. Whatever it is that you think you don't have is just an illusion based yes. upon your own injury that makes you think I can't this, I don't that. Absolutely. So now we live life not seeking to get anything from the world because the world doesn't have anything for us. We're seeking to let, to let our light so shine before men and women that when they see us, they feel the presence where we're here to share and shine and radiate and activate and give our gifts and then circulate that energy. And then we discover that abundance and prosperity and health flows more easily because we're in the frequency of the overflow of already having, rather than trying to get something, we're seeking to let something flow through us. It changes the whole context, you see, of our life, which is just that word context. You know, many people live under the context of, I'm simply the son or daughter of my parents, or I'm, I live, uh, I, I'm in the context of, oh, I was born in this city or this nation, or I have the color of this skin, this is my gender. That's, those are limited contexts. The real context is I'm living and moving and having my beingness in life. I'm living and moving and having my beingness in the presence of God. That's a very large context that changes our perception. And when our perception changes, our thoughts change, and then our experience changes, you see. I love it. You know, it's funny. I have, I, I run a, a lot of online groups and one of the members of my group who happens to, I see he's in the studio audience. He talks about being in group as like, it is his prayerful, his church, but he doesn't call, use those words. But when I think I heard when, when one or more people, two or more people are, two gathered, more are gathered in my name or in my nature, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, it is a prayerful experience and connection is what it's all about. We're here, you know, we're here to be connected. And, you know, a lot of people talk about, oh, be in the now, be in the now, meditate. But these are all very solitary practices. So when you are with another person and connecting, you are really living the love. That right. When two about. or more agree, come into harmony, the same frequency. And that's on two levels. One, as you're saying, the power of community, the power of this, of this program right now, where so many of us are connecting in this, in this conversation right now, and we come to an agreement about our possibility, then there the presence shows up. And the other way of explaining it is that when the conscious mind and the subconscious mind agree, then the superconscious mind takes over. So that when we are consciously affirming the truth about our being, and then that becomes subconscious, it becomes habitual, conscious, subconscious agree, two or more, then the superconscious takes over. Our real nature is revealed. So community is very powerful. Our, our, our really holy friendships are powerful. And then our solitary work is powerful. All works together for good. It's very, very liberating. It is. You know, I just, from the day you and I met, I had such a love feeling for you. Yeah. And, and it's because you really do walk the walk. You know, even when, we're, when we talk together, it's just such a flow. And I don't feel any kind of one-upmanship or competitiveness. I feel your joy. <laughs> Absolutely. In the 
I, I feel the same way about you. I, as soon as we met, I said, oh, she's authentic. That was my word. I said, oh, she's really authentic. She really knows. She really <laughs> understands the timeless. She understands that we're not just bodies. She understands, you know, just the, the unfoldment of the soul beyond the physical expression of life. It's, it's, it's always a really good connection because, you know, I, I can go to seminars. I can hear people speak and I can tell the difference between a person who knows about it and, yeah. a, person who, and a person who knows it. Yes. Oh, <laughs> and yes. there's nothing wrong with people knowing about it it's good motivation but when someone knows it then it's then it's not even the words it's the energy underneath the words that are being spoken you know yes and then it could be no hablo inglés it doesn't even matter and you, doesn't matter. you get the vibe <laughs> I got chills when you just said what you said total chills that's the truth the truth so uh, you know the thing is sometimes when we're together I just feel like I want to just let you go where you want to go. <laughs> well, you know, <clears throat> when, when we deal with, uh, since we're talking about prayer and we talk about some other things as well, I just want people to understand that if I say to a person, um, you've just prayed, are you going to get what you think you've asked for or what you prayed for? And if they say yes, then I'll say, okay, I want you to bring that out of the future. And I want you to feel that it's happening now. Now, real prayer is when you finish praying, prayer does not bring the answer. Prayer is the vibration of the answer. So okay, you're that's living- that's very, very important distinction. Yeah, so you're living Let's in take a break. Let's take a break because I want to talk more about this. Great. We'll be right back. <clears throat> Hi, it's Dr. Jamie Turndorf. Did you know only one stress, one accident, or one illness can trigger PTSD? And did you know that all the stress associated with the pandemic has created what I call the new global PTSD pandemic stress syndrome? And don't be so quick to say, I don't have PTSD, because many conditions like depression, anxiety, pain syndrome, sleep disorders, and sexual dysfunctions are PTSD in disguise. And don't be fooled, even after the pandemic is behind us, your PTSD will not go away by itself. Hope is in sight. In my latest book, If You Think You Don't Have PTSD, Think Again, I share a simple, research-backed, drug-free program for reversing the new global PTSD pandemic stress syndrome, a solution your doctor doesn't likely know about. Read If You Think You Don't Have PTSD, Think Again today and be on the road to recovery right away. If You Think You Don't Have PTSD, Think Again became a number one international bestseller within 24 hours of its publication. Grab your copy on Amazon. Amazon and find out why. Attention, ladies and gentlemen, dryness is canceled. Have the events in your bedroom become less than eventful? Is libido a thing of your past? Enter Membracin Vitality Pearls, the number one selling vaginal moisture supplement. Let's hear what some real customers are saying. Finally, so happy to feel relief from the dryness I was experiencing. 58 years young and so happy to be intimate with my husband again, says Gail. And from Mr. S., I imagine you don't get many reviews from men, but after searching for something, anything that would help with my wife's dryness, we found Membracin. It's been about four months now, and what a difference it has made, not only for her comfort, but also for her libido. We've been enjoying each other almost daily. Don't let dryness and painful sex limit your relationship. Give Membracin Vitality Pearls a try for 90 days. Visit MembracinLife.com for more information and use code LOVE for 15% off your first month. Welcome back to Ask Dr. Love. I'm Dr. Jamie Turndorf talking with Reverend Dr. Michael Bernard (laughs) (laughs) about the power of prayer. Before we took the break, you made a very interesting comment about people praying in a futuristic way. Well, I'm praying for this to happen. What you're really saying is it's already here. You just haven't tapped into. Yeah. Real, Real affirmative prayer is having, developing the inner feeling And what you're praying for, you already have. And even though the evidence hasn't showed up yet, as I've said over the years, the absence of evidence is not the evidence of absence. (laughs) It doesn't mean the presence is not there. So you learn how to walk in the prayer without ceasing attitude, which doesn't mean standing on the corner praying. It means it's an inner feeling 
that your prayer has been answered so that the prayer itself is the vibration of the answer. And then what happens is there becomes a vibrational match and then the condensation of that thought happens in your experience. Your body produces tonic chemicals, your immune system is balanced, your, your neurons of your brain, the hemispheres become balanced. That happens on a physical chemical level and then your life begins to demonstrate the answered prayer as well. So it's not, I'm praying and I hope this happens. I'm praying and I'm having a realization that it is happening now. And then I do what I need to do to keep my frequency up. You listen to programs like this. You do your affirmations on a daily basis. You associate with high-minded people. You study, you stay in that prayer vibe. And then you notice that, oh, my life is changing. Oh, opportunities are opening up. Possibilities are revealing themselves. Uh, I don't know how this even happened, but somebody gave me a gift or things start to occur because they're vibrationally matching where you are mentally living, where you are spiritually living. So, so prayer, is a, prayer is the first wireless technology. <laughs> where you become directly connected to the presence and then you stay there until there's a demonstration or an outpicturing of it it's so funny because remember when i was um presenting love never dies workshop at agape and i was speaking in church in the morning and i heard you talking about presence, presence, presence. And I told you the week before I was looking for Jean's sermon on presence that uh -huh. he wrote when he was still in the Jesuit order. And this was such a powerful word for him. And this is a word you use so often. Yes. And what I like about what you're saying is it's kind of like in lay terms, the fake it till you make it. You know, if you bow, you feel reverent. If you yeah. smile, you feel happy. So you just, you create the right energy and the right vibration, the universe follows. Absolutely, you just talked about smiling. Most people don't know that when you smile, even if you don't feel like it, you just move your muscles up, your body starts to release chemicals. That's it. Anti-aging, uh, uh, balancing the immune system, just smiling. Does. Exactly, but can I, but I don't know, I was wondering if you do a gas pain wince. <laughs> you do you what? A gas pain wince and your mouth goes up. Do you think it would still work? <laughs> but well, if your face goes like this, it does. It, it works. That's why in, in, in China, people buy these sticks and they put them in their mouth to make their face go up. And they're riding their bicycles like this because they know scientifically just doing the face like this it's true. is producing tonic chemicals. So it I tell people when you're meditating, you know, put a, just put just a slight smile on your face. Just it's a slight wonderful. smile and your body chemistry will begin to slowly change. It's true. And you know, when people are in love, you know, in, in the romantic love sense, yeah. their body chemistry, and you look at it, the dopamine is up, the serotonin is up, the endorphins are up. So how do you live that way chemically, which then helps your body, heals illnesses, prevents illnesses? Yes. You want to be in that place as much yes. as possible. Yeah, the, the love chemical oxytocin is released. This, so, yes. so if you're having a difficult time, sometimes you can just think about a, a baby that's in your life that you really love, a pet, your plants, oh, right. a friend, and you just feel the in love vibration. The oxytocin, the dopamine, as you said, will be, re be released. And then the cortisol will begin to decline yeah. and the, um, the nervous system will start to become recalibrated to a higher frequency rather than stress. The nervous system will be recalibrated to, oh, I feel safe. Oh, I That's feel right. secure. That's right. You know, in the last couple of years, I've also done a lot of research on magnesium, which we're all deficient in, but we can't get enough orally because it gives us the poops if we take it at a high medicinal dose. So I've been recommending this Electra transdermal magnesium. I don't sell it. I'm not a distributor, but it goes right into the bloodstream and helps you to shift your chemistry into a right. state of peace. So when I have people use that with the meditation practices, it's like meditation on steroids. Right. They, they connect, you know, they, they, 
it's amazing. We have to talk about that some more. Now, um, well, you're talking right up my alley here because, you know, I always teach, you know, we have spirit, mind and body. So we have to do all the spiritual technologies. We have to do what we have to do to keep our mind clear. And then as you're talking about the physical body, it's like I bathe in the magnesium uh, crystals. I take magnesium. Yes. And then, as you know, I, I just released my own, my own product line, the, the, the Adapters in product line, which has 47 different plant-based ingredients, plus the adaptogens, plus the fiber, you know, so that one scoop gives you your daily needs for, for, to, to, to live on a daily basis. And then I have my vitamin D, which has D3, K2, and a bed of olive oil, MCT oil, which directs, and the K directs the D to go right to the bones, right where it's necessary, and it's totally absorbable. So when you're talking about being magnesium deficient and the things we need to put in our body, it's very important because sometimes it's difficult to have a spiritual practice. Correct. If your body is declining. Correct. Correct. Absolutely. And with the magnesium, it's like it jumpstarts the electromagnetic signals in the body, opens up the pituitary. So how are you going to connect to others and yourself and spirit and so on if the circuit breaker is off? You right. Know? And then people, you know, they have their cell phones. They're under the siege of a 4K and 5, uh, 4G and 5G. You know, we're bombarded with all of this um, technological toxicity. So you have to do something to protect the pituitary gland. You have to do something to protect your glands. So you have to pray, you have to meditate, and then you have to have certain nutritional supplementation to let the body temple detox so Very that you true. can reboot with right nutrition. That you know, is so, so that, true. So That's so true with, because you yeah. can't receive if, there's, if you're like a dumpster filled with garbage. There's no more room to put anything great in, love or anything. You've got to empty out the garbage first. Absolutely. Yes. So we're going to be taking a break in one second. And I was thinking when we come back for the next segment, perhaps we could demonstrate a prayer. And I was thinking also for the person listening who I see in the audience who does not believe in God and all of that. Perhaps we could do an adapted prayer for how you would affirm yourself. You know, everything is inside you. You know, I thought that would be interesting for us to talk about that, what the person could say to bring this awareness <laughs> and healing into himself. So we'll be right back and then we'll hit it. Absolutely. <laughs> okay. My joy. <clears throat> Attention, ladies, dryness is canceled. Are you tired of dealing with painful sex due to vaginal dryness? Are you ready to get back on your bike or hit the tennis court with your girlfriends without having to worry about the discomfort caused by dryness? Whether it's menopause-related, medication-related, or something you've just dealt with for so long that you've accepted it as a fact of life, Membrace and Life Sciences may be your long-awaited answer. A nutritional supplement taken daily that is completely estrogen-free and clinically studied, Membrace and Vitality Pearls have helped over 500,000 women worldwide take their lives back. Just check out the 3,000-plus customer reviews on Amazon. Visit MembraceandLife.com to learn more and use code LOVE for 15% off your first month. Give it 90 days and say goodbye to vaginal dryness. You're listening to Ask Dr. Love with Dr. Jamie Turndorf. If you yearn to get along better with your life partner or spouse, friends, family members, and even co-workers, Dr. Turndorf's best-selling Hay House book, Kiss Your Fights Goodbye, Dr. Love's 10 Simple Steps to Cooling Conflict and Rekindling Your Relationship shows you how to turn conflict into connection for a lifetime of lasting love. To find out more, visit AskDrLove.com. Once again, here's Dr. Turndorf. Hello again, and welcome back to Ask Dr. Love. I'm Dr. Jamie Turndorf talking with Reverend Dr. Monk, Preacher, no, <laughs> Michael Bernard. <laughs> we always goof around. You know, it's so funny. I was, I wanted to say to you, I noticed in the break, you live presence. 
because other people, when they're on, they're, they've got ants in their pants, they're wiggling and they're doing all kinds of stuff. And I was watching you, you're so present. You just sit, you are present to the, to the break, the commercials. And right as I was thinking it, you jumped up <laughs> because you had to answer somebody. Who if somebody in walked in my office and tell me something. <laughs> exactly. I thought that was so fun, but it wasn't you. It was somebody came in and talked to you. Right, I right, right. But you are very present. So what do you think about us doing um, a prayer? For, I think that'd be that would be great. It'd be okay. fantastic. And then maybe we could then do a different prayer for people who don't believe in higher power, God, whatever. I, I could probably combine it. Could you? Yeah. That'd be even more awesomeness. Yeah. That would be the most awesomeness. Yeah. Okay. The most awesomeness. <laughs> <I love Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> awesome sauce. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> okay, so everyone that's uh, with myself and and Dr. Love, <laughs> Dr. <laughs> Jamie, let's turn within for a moment. Let's uh, bring our attention inward, that is pulling our attention away from the world of effects and circumstances and situations and people and places and things. And just take a, a nice breath, deep breath. Release. Just allow the body temple to relax. Mm. And for a moment, remember any time in your life where you felt loved and supported and taken care of. Any time from the time you were a small child, even up to present moment. Just consider a moment where you felt loved. And if it's difficult to find such a moment, imagine what such a moment would feel like. To just be loved for no reason to be supported and cradled and taken care of. Now take a deep breath. As you breathe out, let that feeling be amplified so that you're embraced by love. It is from this awareness that I invite you to come into a deep sense of gratitude now. Allow yourself to rise into the feeling of thankfulness that you're loved and that you exist at all. You're grateful that you exist. You're grateful that you're loved. Even if it's in your imagination, the body temple does not know the difference. Tonic chemicals are flowing. And it's from this consciousness of, of love and gratitude that we begin to recognize that there is a life and a presence that is everywhere. It's moving through the earth. It's moving through all of nature. It's moving through us right now. We're recognizing it with each breath that we take and we're feeling now a greater sense of unity with this presence. Whether we call the presence love, life, beauty, intelligence, God itself, doesn't matter what we call it. We're calling it forth as the activity of our awareness. We're one with the presence in deep gratitude. It is for this awareness that I have the privilege and the honor to speak the word for each and every being listening and watching to this magnificent program with Dr. Love. Whether it is live in this moment or whether it is Another time that this program is aired, this prayer is forever. And I speak the word for each and every individual tuning in, knowing that where they are, the full presence of life and of love and of beauty and intelligence and vitality is. And that every organ and action function of our body temple is made every whit whole. It's coming under the frequency of our celestial body and health and vitality reign supreme. A divine peace of mind is the order of our day. Divine and compelling right action moves through us in a language and in a way that we can understand. And we now lean into the awareness that all is well and everything is unfolding perfectly for our life. This is the feeling that we are engendering right now. And it is this feeling that provides the healing right this moment. This feeling of connection, this feeling of love, 
is providing the healing or the revealing of the sacred truth that is within us all. That wholeness and holiness is right here. Not religiosity, but an opening to our real nature and being. Oh, I give thanks for this. I feel it is already done. It's already so. Therefore, I let it be. Now and unto forevermore. Thus, I can say now. And so it is. Even now, especially now. Amen. Ashe. Shalom. Now, so be it. Ah. That was so beautiful. And you spoke completely from the heart. There was no, this was completely spontaneous. Mm. And it was just a poem, a river just flowing through you. I mean, just beautiful. You can, and you, oh. Thank you. It's my joy to move into prayer. But, and, what, and I love the, that you embody the love. What you said was completely a religious. It was. It was beyond religion, beyond faith. It was beyond. Yeah. Religion is a, is a boat that carries you to your spiritual nature. But sometimes people get caught up in the boat and they forget where they're going. And they just paddle in circles. They're just going in the boat, you know, and they're protecting and defending the boat. But they're exactly. not getting exactly. They're not getting to the transcendent. The boat exactly. is exactly. You know, right after Jean left his body, he said to me, "Jamie," because he had the French accent. "Jamie, we're all one family. We're all one religion. That religion is love. That religion is love. Yes. And when you're saying something that's true." The words that we find are slightly different, but the message is the same. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Many paths to the mountaintop. Exactly. <laughs> I'm so glad that that beautiful affirmation is recorded for posterity because that was, we have to pr print that out. It is a poem. Mm, thank you. I, would, I don't know if your staff will be able to grab it and print it for you, or if my staff can do it for you, but you would we'll, like we'll, we'll have both. <laughs> we have to, oh. so beautiful. You know, you reminded me of when I went to teach my trans-dimensional grief resolution method at uh, Rhythmia Costa Rica, and the shamans there were doing ayahuasca trips, but they had a rule. You could not enter that temple if you weren't doing ayahuasca. And I said, heck no. If I do ayahuasca, I'm gone. I'll never be back. I'm not all here as it is, right? So they made an exception and they let me in and all the shamans prayed around me. It was at sunrise. They were- It was on a Thursday. It was unbelievable, you know, right? Yeah. They were all around me, all these naked young male shamans, and they were, and then the main shaman, and I just kneeled in front of them, and he, they were chanting, I didn't know what they said, and then they spit this stuff on me, and I'm bawling my eyes out, right, you know? Right. And the shaman said to me, if you don't work less, your light's gonna burn out. Mm -hmm. And within a few months of that ceremony and all the love surrounding me, I moved to Florida. Mm. It just happened. It's, it's, the, the, I didn't do anything. The forces of the universe made it come about. Yeah. You know, it's interesting. You know, I'm a part of Rhythmia. I helped start it. Oh, for heaven's sake, right. And, and, I, and I, I put your name on the list to um, invite ah. you to, to speak there. Oh, and, uh, you the individual, Jerry that. Powell, who is the founder, was one of my you students. You know what? I did not know that. You see, it's a small little world. Yeah. And, it's and it was you who made the suggestion. You're such a doll. Yeah, he was. He's, the founder was one of my students. And, and um, he was an addict at the time. And he had a transcendent uh, experience. And he came back and told me, he says, everything you've been teaching is true. And I said, I know, Jerry. Now you know. Yeah, 
I saw you decided, incredible. You started to start rhythmia to have all of these different modalities. I did not know that it was you, yeah. but that is so lovely. And you know, when I was there, they I laid in the room with everyone while they were barfing and right. barfing and it was a really intense experience, even though I wasn't taking the ayahuasca. And the dog, you know, the dog of rhythmia. Oh, yeah, sure. Okay. Uh -huh. Right, yeah. he doesn't like people. He keeps away from them. But he climbed on top of me and put one paw on one shoulder, one on the other, stared into my face, and he stayed like that with me the whole night. Oh yeah, yeah. That one, was time I, one time I went there and he jumped. He came in my room and jumped on my bed and just stayed there. Exactly. He's very. He's discerning, I guess, who he wants to to yeah. bed with. All right, let's take a break. <laughs> We exactly. take a prayerful break <laughs> in the name of Agape and Dr. Love and Rhythmia. <laughs> yeah. Back with you in a moment. <clears throat> You're listening to Ask Dr. Love with Dr. Jamie Turndorf. If your heart is still hurting over the bodily loss of your loved one, the reason is simple. We're not meant to be separated from those we love, and reconnecting is the only way to end the grief. But reconnecting and staying connected requires guidance. As a gift to her listeners, Dr. Turndorf is offering a limited number of discounted grief relief sessions to help you reestablish your relationship and resolve any unfinished issues. If you're ready to experience the healing and joy of reconnecting, visit AskDrLove.com slash grief relief to schedule your session. But don't wait, space is limited. Visit AskDrLove.com slash grief relief to find out more. Attention, ladies and gentlemen, dryness is canceled. Have the events in your bedroom become less than eventful? Is libido a thing of your past? Enter Membracin Vitality Pearls, the number one selling vaginal moisture supplement. Let's hear what some real customers are saying. Finally, so happy to feel relief from the dryness I was experiencing. 58 years young and so happy to be intimate with my husband again, says Gail. And from Mr. S. I imagine you don't get many reviews from men, but after searching for something, anything that would help with my wife's dryness, we found Membracin. It's been about four months now, and what a difference it has made, not only for her comfort, but also for her libido. We've been enjoying each other almost daily. Don't let dryness and painful sex limit your relationship. Give Membracin Vitality Pearls a try for 90 days. Visit MembracinLife.com for more information and use code LOVE for 15% off your first month. You're listening to Ask Dr. Love with Dr. Jamie Turndorf. If you can't stop crying over the bodily loss of a loved one, Dr. Turndorf's international number one bestseller, Love Never Dies, How to Reconnect and Make Peace with the Deceased, shows you how to toss out the tissues and transform your grief into joy using her groundbreaking Dialoguing with the Departed technique that enables you to reconnect and even heal unfinished business with those in spirit. To find out more, visit AskDrLove.com. And now, back to Ask Dr. Love with Dr. Jamie Turndorf. Hello again. Welcome back to Ask Dr. Love. I'm Dr. Jamie Turndorf talking with my dear Reverend Dr. Michael Bernard Beckwith of Agape International Spiritual Center and so many other amazing things. So I, 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 I could go back to your bio and then we won't have any time left for the rest of the show for the final segment. What would you like everyone to know in the last, you know, we have like five minutes, the last segment. What would you like everyone to take away? As I was saying earlier, you know, I teach in spirit mind and body. And I wanted your particular listeners to know about my new Adaptazen line that's being released. And, I'll, and, and there's also a code that, you know, if they put in Dr. Love, they get a, a big discount. And so it's a, it's, I have a super green powder that has 47 different plant-based ingredients, plus ashwagandha, maca, rhodiola. I have a fiber. So if you take one scoop, you're getting just about all of your basic requirements for the body temple to be a filament of light. And I also have a vitamin D3, K2, that during, particularly during this particular time where people are really afraid of viruses and things, you have to have vitamin D in your body. And this 
is in a bed of MCT oil and olive oil. So the delivery system makes it really absorbable. So if they go to neutralize.com. Let's spell it. N-U-T-R-I, neutralize, R-I-S-E, dot com. And then look for Adaptazen. You'll see my picture. You'll see these supplements and they can, they can get the supplements right there. They put in, when they get check out, they put in Dr. Love and they will get a discount. They can either subscribe to it or they can try a one time off and see how it feels. But here's the deal. This green drink tastes good. It's not like other green drinks. You got to put it's maple syrup or whatever in it. It tastes good. So the teenagers, the kids really love it to, to, to drink it. So it's boost, boosting your immune system. It's giving you your daily needs so that you're not, so you're not having to keep dealing with your health while you're trying to grow spiritually. So I want, I want to leave everyone with the awareness that we are a spiritual being having a human incarnation. So we have to take care of the body temple so that it absolutely becomes a filament of light. If the, if the eye is single, the body, we become full of light. We're luminous beings, but we have to take care of the temple. So there's, there's exercise, there's hydration, there's prayer, there's meditation. And now I finally release, I just, it's just been released a few weeks because over the years, people kept saying, what do you take? What do you take? And I would give them all the ingredients that I take for my shake. But now I put it in one thing. So you don't have to buy all those ingredients. You can just take one scoop. You get the ashwagandha, you get the maca, you get the rhodiola, you get the 47 different plant ingredients, the, the wheatgrass, everything. And it tastes good. Nutrarise.com, adapt the zen. That's wonderful. I'm, I'm really glad to hear about this because, you know, I do so many supplements and it takes me an hour to open because I like to just use powder. So I'm opening <laughs> capsules and by the time I'm done, I've dumped all this stuff in my glass and then I dread another morning where I have to start doing it. <laughs> well, listen, try this. I'm going to. And, and, and you're going to, the taste is great. And so I use, it, I use it for my base of my shake and I poured the scoop in, then I put blueberries and avocado in it. And uh, with any kind of alternative milk, you know, whether it's oat milk or, or almond milk or cashew milk. And I'm telling you, I start my day with that, I'm gone. It's, You're it's gone. Beautiful. Yeah. You're gone. The you energy is magnificent. You don't land until dinner. I'm so glad that you came back on the show. I'm so glad to be with you particularly on National Prayer Day, when, uh, and I hope the people who don't believe in God, the, the, I know, I, I would like to say they don't believe in the God that I don't believe in either. <laughs> oh, that's wonderful. I don't believe in that God either. I don't believe in that man, mean, nasty, uh, chosen people kind of God. I believe in the presence that is never an absence. And I've had, I have direct communion with his presence. And so the prayer is communion. It's affirmative, it's, it provides realization. So if in fact you have a meditation, prayerful life, you're taking care of your body temple, you'll create a vibrational match for more good than you can imagine to flow into your life. And you'll have a degree of safety and security that the world can't give you. You can't build a bigger fence. You can't have a bigger bomb. You can't have, you have to, a safety is something that happens in your awareness. When you feel safe, then you're directed as to what to do in order to be safe. It happens internally first, and then right action takes place in your life. Wonderful. We'll end there. My door is open to you. You'll come back soon. Sending you so much love. See you soon. God bless you. You too. You've been listening to Ask Dr. Love with Dr. Jamie Turndorf, brought to you by MembraceInLife.com, the number one vaginal moisture supplement. Sign up for Dr. Jamie's newsletter at AskDrLove.com and receive her meditation audio that will guide you to open your heart and chill out during these stressful times.